Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a Valheim guide. Today we are going to be defeating Yagolf. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but anyway. Okay, so as for me making this intro, I have already completed him, so I just want to go over a few things from this boss fight with you. So the items that I took with me is a black metal sword, a frostner, as well as a black metal shield. I didn't really use them that much, it wasn't really necessary for my boss fight, but it is in the plains biome, so you're probably going to come across those little fuelings, maybe loxes, those mosquito things, so you may want to take yourself some melee weapons with. Okay, and then I took three Draugr Fangs, which I had to end up repairing and all that stuff. So I would recommend taking maybe five if you don't want to end up going to repair stuff. Or if you just want to repair stuff, then that's up to you. But I would recommend taking five if you just want to stick around by the boss fight. Maybe six if you are prone to missing your shots. Okay. I took, I went really out on this, I took 20 medium health potions, I only used 10, but you may use more. The same as with the, the Draugr fans, you may be in a situation where you encounter more fuelings or loxes and mosquitoes and stuff like that, so you may need the health a lot more than what I did. And luckily, I was fighting by the water, so every time I got burnt, I was able to like just cool myself off in the water, and not that the fire lasts long anyway. Okay, I took myself 20 medium stamina potions, I also only used 10, but I would recommend taking more than 10, just because I used 10 doesn't mean you're gonna use 10, you may use a little bit more. Okay, then I went all out on the arrows. I took 300 frost arrows and 300 needle arrows. Guys, remember this was a solo boss fight. So if you're playing with the team, it might be a lot better for you. But if you're playing solo, I would recommend taking a lot more arrows, especially if you're prone to missing your shots. Okay, so yes, I used all my frost arrows and nearly all my needle arrows. Luckily, I had enough arrows, so that was good. And then for food, I took soap and stew, which gave me 80 health, lox meat pie, which gave me 80 health, and then blood pudding, which gave me 90 health. So that's a really good combination of food, in my opinion. I also took fire resistance wine. I only used five of them. Not that I had to use them the whole time, because like I said, I was by the water and it was pretty easy for me just to get the fire off me. So I didn't really need the fire resistance, but I used them anyway, just in case of a situation where I wasn't able to get to the water. So yes, I would recommend bringing more than five because like I said, you may use more, your boss fight may be a little bit different or whatever the case is. Okay, so to unlock the location of this boss fight, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I happened to stumble upon this boss location by just sailing around. I saw these big stones arch thingies and I was like oh what's that and then I saw okay this is probably the boss location and I was actually out looking for the ruin to go and read but I couldn't find it so I'm I really don't know if you guys know let me know in the comments down below I'm pretty sure anyone that wants to read the comments will appreciate that and thank you <laughs> Okay, so upon defeating Yagolf, you actually get the trophy as well as some kind of Yagolf thing. I don't know what this is for, but uh, yes. So as we know, this is the very last boss fight this far in Valheim. Hopefully there's going to be more. I know that there is more biomes in the work, so that means there'll probably be another boss fight because all of these boss fights have been in their separate biomes. So yes, until then, this is the last boss fight, and apparently after you complete this boss fight, it hasn't happened to me yet, but fuelings are supposed to raid your base. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll have to wait and see, and I'll let you guys know if it happens. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to let the boss fight play out for you. I am going to cut it, so that, like, just cut half of it, so that you guys don't have to sit and watch the same thing over and over again. All I had to do was just run around run around the rocks and stuff be careful of the rocks because eventually they'll start falling and uh, you don't want that to fall on you right <laughs> um but yes that's basically the only tactic that i have for you i also want to know does anyone know a better arrow to use because the frost arrows weren't work well obviously the frost wasn't working with him and neither was the needle arrows like they weren't doing much damage at all 
And I also try to place campfires around. I don't know why I wanted to do this, but because obviously he's a fire boss. So he's not going to get damage from fire. But anyway, I tried. So yes, let me know if there's better arrows to use than what I used in this boss fight. I'm sure there is. And I'm sure someone else will appreciate that. And maybe when I do the boss fight again, I'll use your idea. So let me know your tactics and all that stuff. And then, yeah, enjoy the video. For now, I'm going to say goodbye. And till next time. Till the next boss fight. Or the next video. I'll see you all later. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.